Have you ever wanted a smart board, but you were told that it was just too expensive or it's not in the budget? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a Wii smart board under $30. There's this guy named Johnny Lee who has created a Wii smart board using a Wii remote, infrared pen, and a software that allows both to communicate with each other. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what Johnny Lee does, you can look at the link to his website in the description and it'll show you a lot of things that he has created. So you'll type in smooth board and if you have a Mac, you'll type in Smoothboard for Mac. If you have Windows, you just type in Smoothboard. But since I have a Mac, I'll go to smoothboard.org, and you'll see the download section, and you'll see different updates for different operating systems. So Leopard, Snow Leopard, Lion, Mountain Lion, Mavericks, and Yosemite. If you download this one, the latest update, you will have some issues with the El Capitan OS X. And what you would need to do is restart your computer, turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and turn them all on. Then your Wii remote will connect with the Smoothboard software. So if you click on that, You'll wait for it to download. Then you're going to look for Smoothboard. And you can do that in the magnifying glass area. I want to click on Smoothboard. And then you'll have this little window. And you're going to wait just for a few seconds so that this continue unregistered version appears. You can register so that this doesn't appear anymore but I want to use it for free. So I'm going to keep clicking on this bottom part. And right now it's searching for my Wii remote. You do not need to pair the Bluetooth or anything. You just need to click on the sync button or the one and two at the same time on your Wii remote and it should connect. Now once you've connect, with Smoothboard, you'll need to calibrate your infrared pen. And I'll just put this Smoothboard down. I don't usually use those tools. And I'll go to Calibrate. And then you're just going to hit the targets on your screen. And making sure that you are in the view of your Wii Remote. All right, now that's calibrated, I can start up a smart board program or a lesson. So you can grab or you can download different smart board files or lessons. This one I was able to get on Super Teacher website. And all you need to do is click start lesson. And you can have students come up and use the smart board or you can do your instruction as a whole group. So a blank is a material that allows electricity to flow through it. You can create a class discussion. What do you think it is? Why do you think it's this? And If your Wii remote is pretty far away, the tracking will be limited. You want the Wii remote to be as close as possible, but also um, shooting an angle to where it's taking up the whole whiteboard. Which one's a series circuit? They can drag it. And you can see the tracking because my Wii remote is a little bit further away. It just has a little delay in the tracking. 
if I had the Wii remote pretty close, the tracking would be right, uh, pretty consistent. If you're looking for a smart board lesson, Ginzi.com has tons of smart board lessons. However, there's only a 30 day free trial and then it's about $100 a year to keep this. But here's one of the games that you can play. So with the smart board, students can use pegboard to look at a picture and look at the X and Y axis to find what colors go where. So if I'm gonna do the blue, I know that all of these are gonna be blue. And once you're done, there's a check button. You get a smiley face if you got it right, you get a sad face, and you have to look and see what you did wrong, where you can replace the blocks. So this is just one of hundreds of different activities you could do with Ginzi.com. If you're looking for other games, Huda Math is another one. So Huda Math is a free website and I use Huda Math, especially angry animals, to show angles. And it's kind of like angry birds. You're using a slingshot to shoot the animal at different targets. And the students love this. We do this during lunchtime sometimes. Or doing the angle math lessons. And all you do is click and drag. So basically the infrared pen is a wireless mouse that you can tap on the board with. Now with this type of smart board, you can't touch it with your hands or have, in your, have the infrared, uh, infrared pen in your pocket and touch everything. Kind of like what you can do with a smart board pen. But you can use this and you can use it like a mouse. DIY smart board.